Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, um, we have had a very good rest the last little over two weeks, actually 16 days. Hallelujah. Um, on the 26th of uh, January, there came a severe ice storm to Arkansas. And in the area where we are, it hit pretty bad around us, and it, it hit where we were, too. And there was no electricity. And we just now have gotten back online. Today, Today is 16, 16, 16 days. days. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I have to tell you, though, this has been such a blessed, holy time that we've been in for the last 16 days. You know, um, of course, we've had our wood heat, and we've also cooked on our wood stove, and had plenty of heat. We're toasty warm. and um, had plenty of water. We had a spring yeah, to get water just from. Running out of the ground. And uh, the Lord really blessed us. He knew, you know, he knew this was coming. And he knew where he had us was the place he wanted us to be. Amen. So, you know, there's just been something blessed about reading the Bible by candlelight and lamplight. And not having the noise of the computer, not having the noise of anything, just a total quietness and just holiness before God. And, you know, also the Lord showing us that, you know, what is coming to this earth and man's power, man's power is going to be cut off, you know, and that's why he wants us to make sure we have his power that we are operating by by his Holy Spirit and that we that our lamps are full and that we're not caught without any oil in the time of darkness and you know we've learned a lot of lessons during this time and uh, you know the Lord you know he really has done a very deep work you know and being in prayer and um, just letting him, you know, bathe us with his mercy and everything. It's just been a really good time. And Praise the Lord, yeah. You know, it's like a, are used to having the conveniences of life, and electricity is one of the conveniences. It's, uh, it's man-made, man-discovered electricity, how to harness it and everything and, and use it. And so now we have it. And then when you lose it, you go, oh, the first day is kind of, you know, I was kind of, oh, man, had to get adjusted a little bit, you know. So I didn't, by the second day, I was pretty well adjusted, Sharon was too. And, and uh, we were just praising God and and just waiting on him and just praying and seeking his face and and just loving him and resting, like she was saying, you know, just resting in the Lord and. And so we were seeking the Lord about everything, about our, our walk with him and just a time to reflect, you know, and to take stock of our of our life and, and to, to really pray Psalm 139, you know, where search me, O God, and try me and see if there be any wicked way in me, Lord, and, and help me, Lord, lead me in the way everlasting, O God, you know, uh, and, and just know that God is the one leading and guiding and keeping us, you know, and and don't be uh, discouraged or fearful or in doubt or anything. One thing we've learned is that God does want us prepared spiritually for these days ahead. You know, it's a dark day. The, the day of the Lord is a day of darkness and gloominess. You know, and uh, it says that in Joel. It says it in Amos chapter 5 verse 18. Um, and the Lord also says he dwells in the thick darkness. You know, uh, Exodus chapter 20. And so... We know that uh, these days are upon us now. They're upon us now. So we were just blessing God through this whole time. And we had plenty of food to eat. God, you know, just supplies all of our needs. And, and uh, plenty of wood for heat. I mean, I was chopping wood with an axe and, and using my little bow saw and an axe, you know, because I have an electric chainsaw. I dragged the logs up here and, from the woods and... And cut them up with an electric chainsaw. Well, electricity's out, so I couldn't use my electric chainsaw. So I was just cutting them with an axe. 
And then when the ice storm hit and there was trees laying in the road, well, I axed them out. And my neighbor came down with his uh, tractor and we pulled the logs up here and I chopped them up, you know, in nice pieces where I could split them. And, and uh, everything just worked out great. So today we saw an electric truck going down the road and, you know, driving one way and back the other way. And so we said, well, the power will be on today or tomorrow, you know. And then Buster came down and saw us, and we were talking to him. He's our neighbor, and and uh, he said, yeah, it'd probably be on today or tomorrow. So, yeah, I said, well, yeah, i got to clean my computer out. So I came in the house and took the side of my computer off. I had to clean the dust out of it. You know, it's been a year, and they attract dust because they're electrical equipment, you know. And uh, got all the dust cleaned out, and I put it back together and got it all put back on the table and plugged in and everything, and... I just had the thought, you know, when I get this done, the power's going to come on. So I didn't think nothing much about it, really. Went in there and sat on the edge of the bed and talking to my wife. And, and she started to tell me about covering up the computer. And and, I, and as soon as I started to tell her, well, you know, really it attracts electric Electricity attracts the dust. It'll pull the dust in out of the air. And um, so when I started to say that, the light came on. Not even one minute after I cleaned the computer. So it was like God was just saying to me and sharing both. Now, you know, get back to business proclaiming my truth, the truth of my word. Hallelujah. You know, um, it's kind of eerie when such a storm as what came through comes through because, uh, you know, the ice weighs so heavy on the trees that they, you know, they'll bend way over and break or just split or just pop right in half, you know. <laughs> and that's why there were so many electrical poles down everywhere. They were having to bring people in from all over different uh, states to work on the electricity. And, you know, we would stand outside or, and we'd hear these, the trees breaking and cracking you know all around the mountains and it's just kind of an eerie sound and well tell them about your white oak tree that's i right know over you. it's like uh you know this is this is just how god protects you know and how he shows us he doesn't ever say that we won't we won't see his judgment or might not be where it is but he does say he'll protect us in the midst, in the midst of it of all. It. Amen. And he will protect us just like he did his children of old in the midst of his judgment. And, yes, I do believe that this ice storm was a, judgment, was a judgment from judgment. the Amen. Lord. And many, many people um, it touched. And, you know, this is just how the protection of the Lord is. We have a big, huge white oak tree over us. And uh, it was so heavy with ice that it all the branches were touching almost touching the ground i mean I almost could touching the building grab them, you know. and that's up next to the motor home where we have the wood stove and um not one branch broke not even one twig broke off of that tree and the lord kept it the whole time but we were seeing and hearing trees down the road and across the way, breaking and cracking and, you know. Uh, Even one guy we know, he's got a tree in his yard that's about, oh, man, it's probably two or three feet around. And that thing, I mean, the trunk of it, and the whole tree just snapped about five feet off the ground, just snapped and broke right in half the whole tree. And it was just a, just an awesome sight to see. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Well, we got... We wanted just to, to come and let you guys know we got our little animals here. and Oh, and we've got five new little additions, too, little chorky puppies. And they're just almost ready to give away in another couple of weeks. They're so cute. Well, we're going to sell them. Yeah, yeah, we are. We're going to sell them. And, um, but anyway, we wanted to come and let you all know just, uh, just the provision of the Lord and just what a restful just a wonderful time this has been this 16 days that we've been Hallelujah. off and thank uh, you father you know it's just an example of how the lord in the midst of 
him bringing his judgments, how he will protect his people. He will protect us. He will have his hand over us of protection and provision. And we will have everything we need in that time. You know, that's the reason the most important thing. See, man's power is going to fail. Amen. Man's power is going to be cut off eventually. You know, but God's power is endless. And it's what lasts. And if we have the power of the Lord God Almighty in us, the power of the Holy Spirit, his power and his love and his faith, which it takes his love to have true faith. And if we have those things and know that God is with us and that he's taking care of us and that no matter what we see, no matter what we hear, he is with us in Jesus' name.